Hi, I'm Noah Solomon with the Red Carpet Report here in sunny Albuquerque, New Mexico, hosting the Focus on New Mexico Filmmaker Spotlight. Good morning. Hi, morning. good morning. <laughs> Stone Scary Stories, really a concept. Where did you originally get the idea from? Well, uh, we were stoned. <laughs> <laughs> We are avid smokers. We totally believe in the, you know, medical remedies that it does for us. Um, so anyways, we were stoned. We were hanging out, and we like to tell scary stories all the time. So we were like, hey, we should just, like, make this a show. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, and that's what we did. Did you make... Was this concept made this year or previous years, like maybe before the pandemic or during the lockdown? So during the lockdown, you know, we were just stoned all the time. <laughs> we were super stoned. You know, and we're like, you know, we do stuff when we're stoned. We're not just like couch potatoes. We're, that's when we, I find that's when I'm my most creative personally. Um, I don't know about you, but... Um, and scary stories are a lot scarier when you're super stoned. Absolutely. <laughs> I would actually agree with that, yes. <laughs> so tell me more about Sopopia Productions. Um... Well, obviously, so papillas are like one of the best foods on the earth. Obviously. Nice. And I would probably guess you probably came up with the name when you were super stoned. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you are correct. That's Lots exactly what happened. Yeah. We were actually eating so papillas. Just all day we were brainstorming, what should we call our production? We were like Roadrunner, Sandia, as we're eating so papillas. And Keith was just like... Sopapia. <laughs> we were like, yes! <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves Sopapias. Yeah. So I've seen everything on the YouTube channel, like the two trailers and three uh, episodes. Yeah. Which one was your favorite district? Oh. You go first. We're, we're, uh, we have different takes. My personal favorite was the Elf episode, the Christmas episode. It just it was an original story that I wrote, um, and it just was fun. It. I got to use a lot of my skills, the nunchucks, you know, what else did I? Oh, the whip. And that to me, that was the most fun. You kicked some elf ass. That I kicked episode. some elf ass. <laughs> I love the third episode, Bloody Mary, because it was a uh, had a nice uh, nice ensemble to work with. Yeah. And, and the makeup artist killed it. She looked super scary. It was actually pretty creepy to actually do that in front of the mirror and say Bloody Mary. Because you're scared of Bloody yeah, Mary. Yeah, it creeps me out. I didn't want to do the episode, but but you made me. <laughs> do you both write the episodes together, or is it just one person writing the Hmm. She gets super stoned, writes the original I kind draft. I just get in my, yeah, writes the original. And then I get super stoned and we uh, fine tune it. Exactly. And, uh, so everything that we do, like when we write, um, not necessarily when I direct, I try to stay sober. But when we're writing, we're, all the creative parts, I, we like to smoke a little bit and just kind of let the inhibitions go and see what happens. Let the creative juices flow. Yeah. So, so hardball question, what's your favorite strain? Ooh, that's a good oh. one. Well, I like to stick to the sativas. Maybe Jack Herrer. I was just going to say that. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Um, what's the one my brother just give, gave us? The biscuits? The fuel biscuits. That's a good one, too. Yeah. But we'll try everything. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I like the Jack Herrer, yeah. yeah. And I always, I'm all about the sativa because indica is, I'm a huge believer in a indica in the couch. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are there any other current projects coming up right now? Anything that's outside of the or I'm sorry, anything that's out of Superstone scary stories, or is it all going to be focused on scary stories? We have We've, yeah. multiple projects coming up. Um, yes. We are currently in production for a, called, a show called Animal House, yeah. which is an animal rescue show. We partnered with another producer to, and with local rescues to help animals get adopted, help dogs and cats get adopted. Uh -huh. um, we're working on our fourth episode of Super Stoned. And, and then we just signed a contract with one Albuquerque, so we're going to be working a lot with them, just making kind of their whatever videos they need. So interviewing city council, talking about the libraries, just stuff around the city. So we're excited to just kind of branch out and be, you know, not just focus on one genre, but see what else we can do. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything at all? Um, we just oh. are so grateful for our crew that we have. Yeah. Our crew is awesome. We try to keep with the same crew for almost everything that we do. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, huge shout out to the whole crew, yeah. um, the whole cast, the whole production team, our family that helps out. Yeah, and then huge shout out to Freedom Road in Colorado who supplies us a lot of our weed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my brother who's our bud tender. That is true. Well, thank you very much. You do enjoy your morning. Thank, hey, thank you. So much, Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite film shot in New Mexico was. This is the Red Copper Report. Stay safe and keep moving forward.